What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and I hope all of you guys are having a happy holiday season. Now today I'm going to be showing you a preview of a new tweet coming out that should be out either tomorrow or the next day called Confero. Now what this tweet does is basically grab all of the applications that have badge notifications and puts them in one singular place for you to interact with. Now this is a really cool tweet because it always is right up there in your status bar, right there, next to the uh, Do Not Disturb Crescent Moon. So if we just tap on that, then you can see that's actually going to give this nice little iOS 8-esque animation. Looks really nice, really clean, and allows you to swipe through your applications right here that have badge notifications, which you can obviously open right up if you want to go into one. Now if you wanted to close out of one, then you can just swipe up, and it's going to close out all those badge notifications. So let's just jump back here into our settings and let's check out what we have to configure. So of course you obviously have to enable it right there. And then if we tap on configuration, this is where you're gonna check out some of these toggles. So the first thing here is light mode. So the first time that I opened this up, it actually was a dark gray background. But if I tap on this light mode, then it's gonna give us a lighter background, which I actually think looks better than the default. So you can see the white background right there. Now if we jump into the settings again, you can see that we have use close box. So rather than swiping up on an application, you can toggle this on and you can tap and hold on the applications and then tap the little X in order to get rid of it if you wanna do that. So that's just an option right there. You can also allow paging, which I encourage. I think it looks a little bit better. Some people like the fluid motion of no pages. I just think it looks a little bit better with the pages enabled. As you can see, you get little page dots right up there and then you can swipe through very easily just like that. Scrolling back down, you can also hide the app badge, which actually requires a respring, but I mean, you guys know exactly what that does. It's gonna hide the app badge. You also have indeterminate badges, which actually uh, requires another tweak called hide badges. So if you wanna check that out, you can do that. I'm not gonna show you that particularly in this video, but of course you can do that just by toggling that on and having hide badges. Now right down here, you also have a toggle to replace your app switcher with Confero, which is not something that I mean, I think this is a really nice tweak and I think it's really good, but I wouldn't use this as an app switcher. But you can see right here, basically, if you toggle this on and then we try to invoke the app switcher, you can see that we have all of our running applications right here and you can close out of them if you want to. Now, this is really cool, but OXO3 just came out and this is something that I'm gonna be using for quite some time, as you can see right here. Don't check out that girl, but you can see uh, this is what I like to use. I think it looks really nice. Let's go back to settings, and you can see right here that we also have the amount of icons that we can use in Confero. Now, I think three is the default, and I think it looks the best. Uh, I have some badges that are actually really, like my mail badge is like almost 20,000, so it looks kind of cluttered if you, uh, don't have only three, if you have four, then it looks like, as you can see, it's kind of behind right there, and my 3,000 one. But if you have smaller badges, then four would look just fine. Of course, one, two, and three all fit perfectly. Now, something to mention is this doesn't work within applications, as you can see right there. You have to be on your springboard in order to activate Confero. Now I'm gonna go back down here to three, and you can also set up an activator gesture if you wanna do that. And also another little feature that we have here is security, which is kinda of cool. Uh, probably not something that I'll use, but the animations, the uh, design of this actually is really nice. So if we enable this, you first of all have to create a passcode, which I've already done, which is just that, as you can see. And then you can enable touch ID, you can also have a numeric keypad, and you can also toggle on ask for unlock. So right down here is when it's going to lock Confero. You can do it when you go to the lock screen, every time that you close it, or every time you unlock your device. So I have it set for every time that I close it. Now with Touch ID, if you toggle this on, I do recommend a respring just because I've had some issues with it not working right after I toggled it on. So let's go ahead and respring the device very quickly and we'll check out the Touch ID option. So let's just swipe down here to boot up and restart Springboard. All right, so now that we're resprung, Let's go ahead and unlock and then tap on Confedero right there. And you can see unlock with Touch ID, which we can do very easily, just like that, and it opens right up. Now, if you don't have Touch ID, then you can obviously just use the passcode. So let's touch on that again, tap on passcode, and my password is just zeros, which it unlocks very easily. Now, if you wanna get rid of all the notification badges, then you can just open up the Confedero folder and we'll unlock it. And then all you have to do is tap and hold on the application. You can see it says, do you want to clear all the notification badges? Just tap OK. 
and then it closes them all out. And you can see that I don't have notification badges on my Tweetbot or Gmail or anything like that anymore. So it just deletes them completely from your device, as you can see. So again, this is Confero, a very cool tweak. I highly recommend checking it out. Very beautifully designed. And again, this is going to be available in Cydia, I believe for $1.49 within the next couple of days. So highly recommend it. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And if you guys want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.